I'm going to roll right into my second My Guy. If you guys have been watching recently, you saw Tim and I do the tight end reviews. You saw us do the tight end rankings. This should not surprise you at all. The cat is out of the bag. This player continues to rise in ADP, and for good reason. The only tight end outside of Travis Kelsey and Mark Andrews with a legit chance to have championship winning appeal is Darren Waller. Darren Waller is the only Giants pass catcher drafted inside the top 150 players. Next up is Jalen Hyde at pick 170. He's a tight end five, and he's up to pick 62 overall. In the past two seasons, there have been 10 pass catchers who played a full season that were their team's only pass catcher in the top 150 in ADP. On average, these players outperform their ADP. If you remove Elijah Moore, this complete flop season last year from that sample, those players outperformed ADP by an average of 26 and a half spots. These players averaged a 23.7% team target share, all being over 21%. In the two seasons we have with Darren Waller, when he had at least 21% of his team targets, he finished the tight end two and the tight end three. Let's hope for health, but you want Darren Waller in 2023. I think he's, he's a great pick. I think... You can even re- reach around on him in your leagues. I think he will make a difference. Yeah, Waller. I mean, Darren Waller's a guy that I keep flip flopping back and forth on because I was I was the original Darren Waller guy. I like to claim that uh, I was one of the first guys to really like confidently move him super high up in rankings. And this year, I've been a little bit more out. Um, but uh, besides the uh, fact that Skyler has the jersey that he's so kindly pointing to in the back, um, I think you have convinced me to move Darren Waller up my rankings simply from this. You know, it it, it really it gets understated how impressive this man is when he's on the field and healthy. And I think I'm baking in too much of the injury damage uh, that I've taken from having so many Darren Waller shares over the past couple of years. Um, And I think I need to adjust for that and just recognize the elite upside that he does have, because there's not many tight ends that can truly produce in that top three range consistently. And he did it twice. So I think that alone is enough confidence for me to, to bump him up this uh, a few spots at least. All right. 